I'm Jeff Brown, I'm the creator of Sophistry, the game of half-truths, and in this video I'm going to explain to you the concept of logical fallacies, which is what Sophistry is about, and I'm going to explain how the game works, and I'm going to show you how you can play the game in practice mode. So the first thing you want to do is you go to the website sophistry.co, and you click on start a game. Here you have the start a game form. By default it's always set to multiplayer, but for this video we're going to choose solo practice mode and we're going to take three rounds of play and I'm going to leave it on safe for work which means we're not going to get any material in this game that's going to have any profanity or adult themes in it. So we're ready to go. We click start. And now I'm going to take a minute to explain what logical fallacies are. Uh, logical fallacies are pseudo-logical arguments. They're ways of thinking that feel true, they feel persuasive, but they're actually not correct. And in this practice game, we're working with four different logical fallacies. There's a lot more than four, but for this game, we're going to be limited just to these four. So they are the association fallacy, confusing complexity, complexity the appeal to extremes, and the incomplete comparison. Now, whenever you're playing the game, if you're not clear on what each fallacy is, you can click on these little question marks and get more information about them. So this tells us the association fallacy can also be called guilt by association or honor by association. It tells us what that fallacy is, arguing that because two things share a property, they are the same or are interchangeable. And here's an example. It's a boss who's talking to his employee and the boss says, John, I need you to analyze this sample in the mass spectrometer. And John says, Steve is the analyst. I don't know how to use the mass spectrometer. I'm only the janitor. And the boss responds to him, you both wear glasses. I thought you were smart. So you can see how the association fallacy works in this example. The boss makes an association between two people. They both wear glasses. He associates glasses with being smart. And based on that, he assumes that the janitor can use a mass spectrometer which is obviously not a reasonable assumption. So that's why this is a logical fallacy. I'll go through these ones really quickly. Confusing complexity, that basically means when you use a lot of really big words to confuse people and appeal to extremes. This is when you have some something that you're talking about that might be reasonable, but you instead make up some kind of really extreme example that relates to it and makes it seem uh, unreasonable. So here's an example. <clears throat> we should not accept refugees from Syria into our country. The population of Syria is 20 million people. What if they all try to come? We can't support 20 million refugees. So as you can see, you, you're talking about a situation where, for example, a country might be considering accepting, let's say, maybe 10,000 refugees, which is not a lot of people. But the speaker in this case is taking that example of, of for example, 10,000 refugees, turning it into 20 million, which is really extreme, and saying, well, we can't accept 20 million. But of course, you're not talking about 20 million, really. You're talking about something less extreme. And finally, the incomplete comparison. This is where you compare two different things, but you compare them only on the properties that support what you want to believe. So for example, in this case, beer contains B vitamins and potassium. Water has no nutrients at all, so beer is better for you. So as you can see, this person's making a comparison between beer and water. They're comparing the fact that beer has these vitamins and water doesn't, but of course, they're neglecting the fact that beer contains alcohol, which is really bad for you. Water doesn't contain alcohol. They're making a comparison, but it's incomplete, and that's why they're arriving at a bad conclusion. So the game of sophistry revolves around this principle of logical fallacies and the purpose of the game is, or what happens in the game, is you receive famous quotes all from people that have actually said these things and you have to identify which logical fallacy is in that quote. So we're ready to go, let's click start and we're going to see an example. So this looks like Stephen Colbert. The next president will live in the White House. White guy, guy, smiley, smiley face, horse face, horseshoe, shoe box, Johann Sebastian Bach, Baroque music, Barack Obama, oh no. 
So I think in this case, you can see what he's doing. He's making this big long chain of associations. So I think that this is an association fallacy. I'm going to click on the card, make that my answer. Of course, that's correct. And then you get the explanation for why that was the correct answer. Oh, and you can see that I have edit buttons because I'm an admin. You're not going to have those. Don Cherry, don't do it again. It was a disgrace. If Saddam Hussein put up a thousand missiles at our country, who would you go to for help, the Russians or the U.S.? Don't do it again. And this was when he was speaking to Ottawa hockey fans who cheered for the Russian team against the U.S. in the World Cup semifinals. There's a little spelling error I'm going to have to fix. I would say that this is an appeal to extremes because talking about Saddam Hussein and a thousand missiles seems to me a little bit more extreme than supporting a different team at a hockey game. Let's see if this is appeal to extremes. Oh, association fellows, the hockey teams with the countries that they rep. Oh yeah, that's right. So, right. An association between the hockey teams and the countries. That's a better answer. Appeal to extreme might also apply, though. <clears throat> and finally, Deepak Chopra. There is no fixed physical reality, no single perception of the world, just numerous ways of interpreting worldviews as dictated by one's nervous system and the specific environment of our planetary existence. This sounds like confusing complexity. I'm going to say that because... Confusing complexity is a fallacy that Deepak Chopra relies on a lot. And he's using these words, one's nervous system in the specific environment of, see, planetary existence. Most of us, that's the only existence we have. He's just throwing in these words for no reason, so I'm going to say confusing complexity. And that's right. So we've already played through our three rounds. Now when I click continue, I get my results and then I'm done and it's going to take me I think to the home page. So that's how you play sophistry in solo practice mode. It's a great way to shore up your skills for when you play in the other modes, multiplayer or arena mode, which I'm going to show to you in future videos. The, the last thing that I want to show you is if you want any more help understanding the logical fallacies, we actually have a tutorial on the website. So you can go to resources and it's right here click on tutorial and you get a nice walkthrough that explains to you step by step different logical fallacies and then goes through some practice questions.